Michael Lavery of Piper Sandler joins me now. He has a hold rating and a $65 price target on Tyson. Um, Michael, it seems like it's they're, they're, they were caught in a tough spot, at least in the most recent period where, you know, there was some trade down in customers not really paying up in terms of pricing, and then they're still saddled with uh, some elevated costs. Um, is that going to persist? What's the outlook from here now that the market seems to be uh, kind of turning on this story? You from the two key components of it, the consumer demand side and the, the cost and the commodity piece. Commodities have, have been tough because they still have elevated feed costs, but they're but the pricing on, on chicken and beef is, is depressed. The, the U.S. domestic demand was cited as, as a soft on beef, and this has been when we downgraded about nine months ago, this was one of our key concerns, specifically in a way that isn't even fully played out. We were looking in part at the SNAP consumer, the, the food stamp recipients. They have elevated benefit levels that end this month that they've said when we've surveyed them, they've been using to buy more food, especially more beef. Uh, well, they specifically said all meat. And, and within that, they've been trading up. So we see risk both to meat, to, to the meat category as this 14 or 15 percent of households loses 30 to 35 billion of extra stimulus funds over the course of this year and just trading down as they switch to cheaper alternatives. So uh, presumably you don't think that that's in current uh, ty uh, Tyson earnings forecast, because if, if the earnings are going to be met at this point, it starts to look as if uh, there's some value there. I mean, trading, you know, 10 times or so forward earnings. It, it historically trades around 11, so it's not very far yeah. off. Yeah. And it depends on what that EPS number ends up being in the in the out year. And that's where we still have some questions. We think that there's definitely risk just from a general broad based consumer under inflation pressure with savings drawdowns that we're seeing across the board. But especially this low end consumer that we think has been driving a bit of a boost and is going to have some some headwind. So we, we think it's a little too early to get constructive on, on this valuation for sure. If it's a category issue, this pressure, uh, what other stocks are, are in the crosshairs? I mean, is it like a Conagra, Hormel? It, it, it's, a, it's a bit of an apples and oranges comparisons in some respects because some of those have more value-added products and many other categories that they participate in. And so hmm. you see a Kraft Heinz, a, a Hormel, and some of these who have a, a lunch meat or different kinds of meat businesses but typically also less of the commodity exposure and some of the things that are more hit impacting um, Tyson directly. You also have Hormel with something like Spam, for example, which if you're going to trade down is, is going to be a beneficiary of that. Sure. Uh, good perspective, uh, Michael. Appreciate the time today. Thank you.